Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Resident Evil 3. I'm Cody. I'm Karen Maku. You're still trying to get used to that, aren't you? I am. Uh, just as a recap, last episode we fought Nemesis in his Phase 2 form, and Jill has been infected with the T-Virus. Also, we are cheating a little bit. The we... only cheating we're doing is with the hot dogger. Well, we also have uh, the Field Combat Manual, which gives right. us a bonus to melee damage right also you can get rid of that id card now i can is there here we go uh we could be using all this shit we've beaten this game before multiple times we're not going to we're trying to be as like uh honorable as possible but i wanted the hot dogger <laughs> i wanted the hot dogger i insisted on it uh, okay you're the one who chose the field combat thingy uh okay i'll give just, her the hot dogger just, just take the dust like take the herb and just <laughs> Just spit it in her face. Right in her face. Uh, She'd probably see. appreciate it. Maybe. We are, however, I do not like this part of the game. Well, not this part specifically, but like there's a part coming up that I... Oh, the protect the squishy. Yeah, I hate that part of this game. It's absolutely I, infuriating. I know that's not what the technical game mechanic is called, but like I love that term. Yeah, I... It infuriates the hell out of me. But right now, you need to go into the other parts of the hospital. Yeah, well, hang on. There's shit here. I'm trying to find it. Uh, might be behind the desk. I think it's behind the desk. That's the most likely place for it to be. I also gotta, like, remember the uh, controls. Okay, wait. Oh, there's more. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah, I see it. Now? Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Uh, but I gotta remember all the controls. Gotta remember that Carlos does not dodge because he ain't on that. He ain't bitch made. All right. Okay. Um. Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, someone's getting up. I know. Uh, oh, uh, shit. oh shit! He's closer. What the hell was that? What was that? Maybe I just landed a critical. Uh. Where does this game have critical? Yeah. Oh, but also, Jill is... Get him, uh, just get him with the hot dogger. Okay, he's down. Uh, but yeah, this episode we are trying to find, like, a sort of... Cure. Hot dogger, oh. Got him. Okay. So that guy ain't getting back up. What about this? Oh, oh. someone broke in. Stop moving all weird. Damn it. Damn it. Cody, 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 she's gonna get you. Crap. Come on, Carlos. Make a stupid pun. Okay, good. You killed her just in time. Just in time. I'm surprised that's not a Phoenix Wright character. Oh, you weren't dead. You were just laying down. Which is why you always double tap. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, it's you gotta be on it. Haley's on it. Shut, shut your stupid mouth. <laughs> oh that. god, it's such a bad show. It is, and it's a weird case of like a show that had potential. No, it still does have potential. This could just be the ev the thing that every show go through. It's like season one jitters. Maybe, and I mean, it did come out during the writer's strike, but... At, like, at the very beginning of the writer's strike. But I don't know how much I'm willing to blame the writer's strike for the show just being outright bad. Well, it could be that, like, as writers were, like, getting fed up with their conditions, they were less likely to put in quality. I guess so. So that's my probably exp explanation for the show, but now that the writer half of the strike is over, there's a potential that the show could get better, so I'm gonna hold on to hope. Unfortunately, since all of season one is like written and done, there's no hope of it like getting better right now until they finish season two. I think the issue is is that the show is fundamentally bad. Hey, wait, where did our like lockpick go? Uh, did you put it away? Oh, I don't think we picked one up for Carlos. Oh well then. <laughs> We're also cheating with the lockpick, but it's spooky month we're just playing this for fun it's fun times come on spooky everybody month. it's spooky month it is spooky month um, <laughs> i'm sorry oh wait does carlos not have oh carlos doesn't get the lockpick. oh you son of a slut <laughs> 
could have sworn there was one in here for you, but nope, okay. Apparently not. I guess we'll just go. Uh, do I have anything I can just outright put away right now? Uh, yeah, you could put away one of your full heals and maybe the red herb if you want. Uh, I'm going to hold on to that red herb. Well, because I know. what about the... the combination of the red and green herb? You already have a full heal on you. I know, but I know the enemy that's coming up, Lonnie. Do you need two heals on you? Yes. Okay. Unless you could just get good at punching, stupid. I could. But knowing the the enemy that's coming up, it's really hard to get good. Okay. So no. Leave me alone. No. Okay. Wait, was there something on the floor? Where? Turn around. Turn. Oh my god. <laughs> what do you mean? Just against the window. Okay, thank you for... It's on the other side of the glass, Lonnie. No, it was a light. Jesus. <laughs> god, you are... I love you. Welcome to the office of Dr. Nathaniel Park. Please state your business clearly into the intercom. <laughs> I'm here to suck your dick, bud! You can't get away from it! I'm getting Judy! <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I can't use this. Yeah, no, you need something. Okay, I think that's... you need a tape. Right. Oh, this is... Right, 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 right. Word? It's no. Oh. Nurse's Journal, September 25th. Every day they bring in more of these mystery illness patients. The sedatives don't stop their delirium, so we have to put them in straight jackets and move them to the isolation wing. Problem is, the isolation wing is already bursting to the seams. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to clear my throat. Sorry, I took a drink of water. Uh, the doctor has ordered us to admit anyone with symptoms free of charge, but what does he expect us to do? Wish him better? We don't have a cure. And that's not all that's bothering me. When these patients die, they're not collecting them by the usual mortuary teams. We've been told it's special handling to prevent the illness from spreading, but I'm not sure I buy it. Miranda saw some guys wheeling a body through the forbidden door during the night. Miranda? Why? Where? What is going on? <laughs> is she by chance a mother? Is she old as shit? Well, you know, you're never supposed to ask a lady for her age. Open the door. I promise I won't kiss you. Just open the door. <laughs> uh, boop. Okay, cool. Oh. Oh no! Look uh -oh. out! Kill him! Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, regroup. Damn. Really a uh, spray and pray sort of situation, huh? Oh, so the other day I was watching Home on the Range and I realized that Buck, the fucking, like, horse that wants to be a hero, uh -huh. he's voiced by fucking Cusco. Yeah? I didn't know. You watched Home on the Range without me? No. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, I'm hurt. Do you want to watch Home on the Range? Maybe. Okay, we can watch Home on the Range. Okay, I think that's Unless you want to watch Saw... Three? Saw, uh, what Saw movie are we on? We're on Saw 3. Which I know for a fact is the movie with Kramer. Oh, shit. Damn. She, like, leapt onto you. Did you see her? God, she was ready to go, man. She was feeling frisky. Look out, she's gonna get you. Look out, she's no, gonna she get you. Look out, she's gonna get you. She isn't. No, she isn't. Damn it. Give it here. Ah, oh, damn it. Am I out? I'm out. Damn it. Kiss me already. <laughs> Just do it. I can't stand the anticipation. Okay, baby, now that you're ripping my neck meat out, I could have waited. <laughs> <laughs> I might have misread the situation. But yes, uh, we need. To, I just want to watch like the entire Saw franchise because we watched Saw X in theaters, and apparently it's like it's a good movie but not a good saw movie or something like that it's an okay movie just not a great saw movie oh god i gotta like recollect everything but like i think really it's it's also just that like here lately saw movies have kind of sucked so like in comparison to the most recent entries yeah saw x is fine but what else is in here there's like assault rifle ammo on the uh, right there oh yeah funny yeah but it's like, the last couple of Saw movies that have come out weren't great. And in comparison to those, yeah, Saw X is fine. And also, you could just feel how petty 
uh, Kramer is to these uh, scammers because he gave them absolutely no time to do it. Yeah, like, that's the that's the other thing that bugged me is that, like, the only way you could actually play his game and win is if you start before the timer. Which, which you is... technically could. A lot of them, just, like, don't trigger until, like... No, they trigger right as you start. Well, normally the timer starts after he finishes talking. No, it doesn't. Really? I could have sworn. No, the timer starts whenever you start whenever you start the game. Uh, right. <laughs> but yeah, the timer in the case of most Saw movies, the timer starts when you start the game. Oh, I was talking specifically about X. Because I, I know what you mean about like the other movies. Like the timer starts when the timer starts when you start the game. Hey, no, don't touch me. But yeah, no, like in, um, uh, spoiler alert, but like in both the case of the lady who had to cut off her leg and the guy who had to like rip out a chunk of his own brain, the no. timer starts as soon as she grabs the thing to cut her leg off with and as soon as the guy grabs the tool. Yeah, but in other movies, it starts, uh, like the moment they enter a room or something or like the moment they, uh... Not necessarily. It, there are cases, like, depending on the game, sometimes it doesn't start until you, oh. like, commence the game. Just, just all die, okay? <laughs> We're not doing this, I'm gonna get up 20 minutes later thing. We're not doing this whole, I'm gonna get up 50 times to attack you thing. I've been playing X. Shit, 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 shit. There's no way to avoid taking damage. I know. But it's like, I've been playing Resident Evil 2 with infinite ammo on the assault rifle, so I kind of keep forgetting. Anyway, though. Um, but yeah, no, in, in X, with the exception of... God, I hated that bone marrow, though. That fucking fucked with me. Oh, yeah, that wasn't fun. That was, uh, yeah. that was gross. And also, watching these, like, really gory movies make me realize that I don't like gore. We don't have to watch them. But I like the movies. I just don't like the gore. <laughs> Welcome to the office of like... I'm pretty sure there's someone out there who understands what I'm talking about. Nah, I get it. Like, you can like horror movies, but not, like, gory horror movies. We already read that. Me, personally, I don't care. <laughs> like, for me, if I'm gonna watch a horror movie, what I want is two things i want one i want to actually care about the people like i want to feel suspense when they're like about to die as opposed to just sitting there being like oh they're about to die okay and uh also i just kind of want like i prefer creature feature movies so i want an interesting monster and i want an interesting monster design Taco Bell, am I right? <laughs> what? Because, like, there was some fire specifically in her ass. She's done. Like, once the whole body goes up, they're done. Okay, he's done. Yeah, you got him. But, uh... I don't know. The Saw movies, uh... They are... They really get you on the suspense factor. Believe you. <laughs> I think I think she's like a cutscene. Yeah. Nope, not that one. Nope, you got her. Nope. No, I don't. <laughs> you liar. Don't you lie to me. Anyway, though, yeah, the Saw movies kind of just prey on the suspense. Like you're sitting there, like as the, watching the timer count down while the person is trying to do whatever their game is, and you're like, huh, huh, huh. Aww. <laughs> Man, when does that cutscene trigger? What cutscene? What cutscene? What are you talking about? <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it now that you said something. I don't think you can open the door yet. Okay, yeah, just, locked. just, just checking. Anyway, though. But, 
Yeah, like the other day, it, its head is destroyed. Shut it's up, fine. shut up. It, I've seen things like that get up. Fair enough. But it's like the uh, uh, yesterday, we were watching that movie on uh, Max, The Pyramid. Oh, right. And like that movie... Was stupid. Was stupid, and it committed like what I consider to be a cardinal sin of horror movies. Oh, there's a sin? Yeah, and that's, it was boring. Oh, that's just a, that's a sin of any movie. Because it's oh. like, you can be a bad movie, just don't be boring. Okay, but the thing is, is that for a horror movie specifically, you need to be suspenseful and tense and on edge. You can't have a horror movie where I'm sitting there and thinking about, like, pasta recipes the whole time, as opposed to what's happening. Oh, that's a lovely corridor of blood. But yeah, the pyramid, was it was just stupid. Also, the monster that they had. Uh, it Like, every time it roared, there's a guy on the floor, like, right next to you. Oh, shit. Wait, right, what? By, behind you, right there. Might want to hot dog him real fast. I don't think he's getting up. He might get up later. Cutscene thing. Yeah, they're going to get up cutscene style. Calling it now. Man, <laughs> nurses journal September 29th. We tried. I swear to God, we did. But there's nothing else to be done. The chaos is completely beyond control. Victims are pouring in now, dying and spreading the infection faster than we can reach them. So we've given up trying. Those of us who aren't infected have barricaded ourselves in here. We can hear the cries for help outside, the screaming, but none of us will go out there because it would be the end of us. I can't believe we've abandoned our patients. It's the worst sin imaginable for a nurse can't stop shaking but i want to live i want to live 9 8 9 p.m we heard a helicopter flying overhead and immediately started crying and hugging each other thinking the rescue team was on its way but then the sound grew distant and all we're left with now is the moaning of the dead and the silent screams in our hearts we're all about to lose our minds dr young ariana miranda dakota i'm so sorry i failed you something's coming help me These things are going to get up cutscene style. Probably. Memos from administration. ID card rules. ID cards are not to be taken off of hospital grounds under any circumstances. As per our security measures, all employees must store their ID cards in their own personal lockers before returning home for the day. Thank you. Administration, September 20th. Lost locker room key. The key to the locker room has gone missing. The last person to have it may have dropped it somewhere in the courtyard. Uh, until it is recovered, we will keep a spare key here in the office. Please stop by administration at the end of your shift to borrow it. Cool, so you gotta find the key. Is that everything in this room? Uh, that could just be red because the door isn't open yet. I guess so. Because it's like, I've passed by pretty much everything in here, haven't I? I guess so. Okay, cool. So now you gotta get to the courtyard. Also, when you were bringing up movies, I thought you were gonna bring up uh, Meg 2, because we also watched that. It's not a horror movie, but, like, it's really bad. It is. Like, that movie is terrible. Not for the same reason as The Pyramid. The Pyramid, this is a safe room. Oh, it is? Yeah, I think. But, like, The Pyramid was terrible just because it was boring and all over the place. Oops. Nurses Journal, September 27th. Admitted over 20 mystery illness patients. Patients in the isolation wing exhibiting severe limb necrosis, fever, muttering delirium, and signs of hyperphagia. Possible infection? Tried every anti antiseptic. Still no blood work back from the research wing. Ask again. Dr. Young was bitten while treating one of the patients. We've disinfected the wound, but his fever won't go down. Nothing works. Meanwhile, the outpatient wing is complete anarchy. Patients are delirious and growing more violent by the minute. We've called in our off-duty staff. It's all hands on deck now. We've got to contain this chaos. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, what are you going to do? Anyway. But it's like, the pyramid sucked. I kept, I keep trying to mention, the monster didn't even sound like it was roaring. It just sounded like someone was peeking a mic. I'll save it a second. Like, it sounds fucking ridiculous. It just sounds like someone's pressing their mouth against the mic and just going, <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly it. Like, it doesn't even sound like a roar. 
And then half of the time, I didn't care about most of the characters. And then you just kill the only character I cared about off screen. No, it wasn't off screen. Because, like, they looked at him and then the guy stepped on his head. We don't know if he was, like, alive at that point, though. He could have been, but he wasn't after the guy squished his head. Uh, And then Meg 2 was terrible just because it was, like, doesn't make any sense half of the time. Like, I mean, spoiler alert. Isn't this the lobby? No, it isn't. Anyway, though. Meg 2 just doesn't make any sense half of the time. Oh, God. When are you going to bust through? And a lot of shit that happens in that movie happens explicitly just for no reason. Get her. I think the door guy got through. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, shit. A lot of guys got through, actually. Watch out, there might be a guy sneaking up on you. I know, but there's not much... Critical. Cool. Oh, they can't get at you from behind. Yeah, this door's got a thing on it. Yeah. I'm just making sure. Yeah, I, I get it. I understand. Okay, uh... Oh, here we go. Uh... Note about a tape recording. Dakota, I think I know what happened to the missing tape of Dr. B. His research assistant took it. One of my patients saw Abbott removing something from a locker in the nurse's station and walking towards the treatment room. I'll try to sneak in and look during the night shift. You just stay cool and keep doing your job. Okay. <laughs> oh. What? Did I hit the wrong button? I think so, yeah. Uh, it was like... Yeah. Note about tape recording. I don't care how important Dr. B is to the medical community. This kind of harassment is not okay. I promise I won't let them destroy the evidence. He's a pig and an asshole and will get his day in court. Stay brave, stay strong. <laughs> Keep praying. <laughs> a friend. <laughs> oh, shit. Where'd that guy come from? Hang on, hang on. Yeah, you're going to have to heal up. Uh, every button but the one I need. <laughs> Good job. Man, he is... Got kind of eating these. Yeah, he's got a thick skull on this fucker. There we go. Where did you come from? Uh, I don't know. Jeez. God, this would smell so bad. Oh, yeah, it would smell awful. Okay, cool. So where did the nut say it was? Oh, uh, God damn it. <laughs> Fucking shit. Uh, treatment room. The treatment room? Yeah, treatment room. Okay. That's the treatment room. That is the treatment room. So I need to open this door. Go into the sick room. Do you... I don't know the no, the thing for that safe off the top of my head. Oh, this is bad, isn't it? Yeah, Oh, probably. that's bad, isn't it? Nice shorts. <laughs> Mine. God, imagine... Because, like, in this world, green herb is, like, a legit thing. Can you imagine bringing somebody that in the hospital? Like, it just kind of feels imagine, like... Imagine, like, everything you go in for, they're just like, green herb! I broke my leg in 57 places. Rub some dirt in it. Just make sure you mix in some green herb into that dirt. Dude, he's just taking a nap. Yeah, he shouldn't be doing that. He's a doctor. It's neither the time nor the place, sir. For shame. Okay, there's something in here. Yeah. Done. <laughs> okay, cool. So that was nothing. Uh, then what can I do? There's still something in the staff room. That's the simple lock. This is a locked door. Linen room. <sighs> oh, I'm tired. But, like, there was a part of... Oh, wait, you can get into the courtroom from here. Courtyard. Courtyard. Sorry, we just got done playing Greatest Attorney. But, uh, oh, God. There's another one. I don't want to jump down Check yet. Check the map. Oh, this is locked? Yeah. Go down to first floor. Oh, um. Hmm. Yeah, I need to get down there. I know I do, but like. 
Um, I think if you drop in on the other side, you can get that green herb. I think there's something else. I don't remember. Just land right. Hey. Yeah, this is what we needed. So isn't there something on the other side? I don't know. Which I guess you can't get now. Can you? I can. I could just go back up there and just drop on the other side. Yeah, because there's something that's like highlighted right there. I think it's like Magnum Ammo or something. I don't know. Oh, well. Uh, but we have the key now. Yeah. Which room are we about to enter? Just another hallway. Yeah. Fine. We're doing good. Anyway, uh, there was a part in Meg 2 that I really liked. It's when, like, the bad lady, the, the, the big bad, she's talking to one of her hench dudes, and he's just fucking crying because his wife died. His wife or girlfriend or whatever. And he's crying. She's like, are you crying? Mate are you crying, Mateus? <laughs> and he just hangs up on her. <laughs> and I thought that was so funny. It's a fucking ridiculous scene. Uh, what do I need to do? Uh, you can either drop back down into the courtroom or... Fuck, what is that key courtyard. to? Courtyard. Courtyard. What is that key to again? I don't know. Can you examine it? Nope. <laughs> uh, examine. Locker room key. Oh, uh, this is... That's that... Where the hell was the locker room? Uh, reception. Nowhere, apparently. Isn't it in the... Sa it's in the staff room. Okay, st uh, staff room over here. So yeah. I'm going the right way. Yeah, you are. And I doubt you're going to drop back into the courtyard again. Unless. <laughs> Unless you really want that ammo. Hey, yo. I think they're, they're back up this time. I have such a hard time believing that they're just not going to get up. Okay. God, you gotta love how video games are so convoluted, and in real life, I feel like somebody would just give up. I mean, they'd probably just make shelter. Like, it, they'd be like, yeah, you have to go get the key card in order to find the gear to get to access the lever in order to lower the plank that'll let you access the other lever, which will allow you to get... Like, at some point, you just gotta sit there and be like, you know what? Not worth it. Stab him. I know, I know. Okay. Okay, now the other guys have to have gotten up. Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> I'm stretching. Unless this is the cutscene. What cutscene? We'll find out. No, wait, there's something else. There's like a simple lock in the corner of the room that I think you need a lock pick to get. Crap. Yeah. I think you can come through here as Jill. Right. I might be wrong about that. Yeah, here we go, the cutscene. <laughs> I smell cookies. <laughs> With them big ass hands. I guess you could say this is sort of his uh, strong hand. He recently discovered internet <laughs> content. Strong. <laughs> ah. Oh no. You gonna do anything or are you just nope, kinda gonna nope, Oh nope. you're just gonna run away? Oh, Jesus Christ. He missed! <laughs> he missed! How did you miss? He was right in front of you! Terrible job, sport. Ah, oh, you coward. Okay, oh wrong button. Uh where am I going? Uh, you just got the key card, so the nurse's station. Okay. <laughs> wow, can't. he fucking missed. Cannot believe he missed. Yeah. Disrespecting your whole family lineage. Uh, we still don't have the code of that save. Yeah, well, no, we don't. And yeah, we can throw away that key. Okay. It's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad. They're just in there having a fun time. It's lunch. Is it lunch though? Sure. You wanna call it here before you go into the room of fun? 
Uh, actually, I think we should go back and save. Okay. Now that this door is open. I'm going to go back to the safe room. All right. Well, while you do that, I will do the outro. So, ladies and gentlemen, that has been Resident Evil 3. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.